Hello folks, this is Aitan Ansha from InspiredRise.com and today we are going to know how to set up a wireless repeater using this specific router we have over here. So guys, let's begin. So guys this is what the box for the Tenda wireless home router looks like. We are going to use this specific router as a repeater in this setup. It's a 300 Mbps router with dual antenna and as can be seen its price etc is visible over here so price is around 2000 rupees and it has a very wide range of around 4 to 5 floors and felt very easy to set up and use in our tests and also comes with 3 years of warranty which is something which is very good about this and 5 uh, dB was the range etc written over there. You have 2 into 5 dBi, 2 fixed antennas with 5 dBi which is the signal strength etc for this one. Model number is N301 for this specific home router and all of the things which it can do for you are written on the back and the made in China logo on this Tenda router that we have. Inside the box what else do you get is the small uh, quick install guide which has the configuration instructions etc which we followed later on and we will also show you a video on how we did that stuff. The router itself you get a wireless easy setup router user guide and setup wizard for the router and you get the router itself which looks nice enough to hold in hand very lightweight router has four ports behind three LAN ports one WAN port one DC in power and port and one reset button on the back, two antennas and apart from that you get one LAN cable and one DC power adapter for this AC to DC power adapter for this router. So that's all that you get for this one. And let's just move on and show you how did we set this router up. So we connected it via one LAN cable to our computer and then after we have done all of that we went to the IP address 192. 168.0.1 so that's where we uh, went after setting it up so once this happens we go to the default login page the password for this is admin and you have to set up your connection type uh, in our case it was DHCP and set a password for your Wi-Fi router so we set any password that you can like so we set up a simple password a very simple password so it's literally a simple password and we set up a simple password key and you just press on OK so this specific set of instructions is for people who want to use their Wi-Fi router like a repeater so this is what we are doing here go to the wireless settings after this and on the bottom you have the wireless extender option click on that and in extender mode select as universal repeater and you can enter the SSID of the network you want or if the network is open just choose a scan option and once you have enabled the scan option the network would show up in the list of Wi-Fi available networks so we connecting to one of the networks available here you put the password for that Wi-Fi uh, network and select the encryption mode whether it's AES or different TKIP mode and just select OK. After this the screen would just refresh itself and you would get either a connection reset message or the Wi-Fi router would reboot itself. So either of these two messages would be visible after this so it's waiting for 192.168.0.1 and once this is done this is done the connection was reset you just disable the just disconnect the LAN cable and connect to your Wi-Fi itself which is the same Wi-Fi which had been connected and the Wi-Fi key was something which we had set initially. The Tenda wireless router is really great. We used it in our house and we used it in our office setup also and found out that it worked great. It has one WAN port behind for configuring to uh, for directly connecting it to another router or modem and you have different three LAN ports etc also and apart from that what you get is a DCN and on the front you have all of these LED lightings for showcasing the status of this one. So guys it's very easy to create your own repeater setup in your home and uh, we hope that you liked this video and found it informational in case you want more videos like this then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to check all the videos out that we did in the past few days and guys no matter what you do stay inspired to rise and this was very easy to do and very easy to set up but still we did a guide because of the fact that many people have problems creating their own repeater setup when they have huge homes or too many walls in their setup this is not the guide you need but the one you deserve